Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is a outburst here. A little bit of a um, catch-up video. I made one very recently on starting a vehicle build on my last vehicle. It was the uh, 2001 Volkswagen Jetta. Kind of uh, separated paths from that now and have went back to my natural roots of the Honda. Hmm. And um, so yeah, I'm about to show you guys the first video of my brand new 1995 Honda Prelude build. So yeah, y'all, it's going to be a pretty quick, not really quick, but decently quick build since this is just a um, little prelude, nothing really special about it. There's nothing going to be too difficult about it being built, you know. Um, here, here in the very, very soon future, maybe here in about four, three weeks, three to four weeks, I'm going to be buying a, um, a parts car for this car, which is going to be another 95 fourth gen prelude. And it is a full stock SI that somebody, I guess, owned and cherished for a pretty long amount of time. The paint's all ruined, but there's nothing added to the car. Everything's still stock on it. Still has the stock non VTEC H23A1. Still has all the stock rims and stock suspension. Still has everything stock on the inside, including the head unit. The air conditioning works perfect on this car and on the parts car. Um... So yeah, it's going to be a long one, but it will be a pretty good bit of work. This car here has still has the, um, here, let me, so basically this is what we're going to be working with. Let me show you here quick. Okay, so this car doesn't have pretty much anything. Got to get a cap for the reservoir. As y'all can see. Well, that's a major issue. We'll have to fix that here first. Something back there is going to have to be done. Don't know if that's going to be fixable or not, but I'm still going to be rolling with it just in case. Um, as y'all can see here, if you look, the uh, radiator supports a little warped and bent, so we got to change that out 100%, even though that there, you know, that could be fixable without having to pull this entire thing out. But since that's there and the fact that this is all warped, we're just going to go ahead and pull it and replace it anyways. So, uh, Besides that being a problem, we got down here a little bit of a problem. As y'all can see that mount down there. Um, I, I don't have any way of me uh, grabbing my second hand to grab that mount and show you guys anything. The, there's no um, lift support for the hood on this car, so I got to hold that up with one hand and record with the other. Anyways, the um, I assume when the last person that owned this car got in a wreck here, it uh, pushed everything so much that it snapped all three of the bolts on that mount. Snap the two mount bolts on the back mount back there, and then snap the CV axle on the driver's side because, th well, I mean, this here could have been the cause to all of this, but this also could have just been a, a random driving under the dun underneath the, of a truck, you know, just something something somebody's got to replace. But anyways, this uh. This is the first thing that's going to be done. We're going to strip this car down, get everything taken off. Got to take the hood off, the fenders off, the hood, the bumper off, take the hood, the headlights out, radiator out, engine's going to come out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to rebuild this one or if I'm going to rebuild the other one. The other parts car that I'm getting is going to be a 150,000 mile original mile engine. Um, this one is a 290,000 mile, and I'm not sure if it's uh, not sure if it's on a rebuild or nothing yet. The engine's pretty gunked up. Um, haven't done much to it yet. Like I said, this engine, this car's just been sitting here for a little bit of time now, so just working with what I got. 
working with what I can do. It's going to be a pretty slow process. It's going to be a pretty slow process, but um, yeah, this is the uh, engine bay. This is the major problems we're going to have to face. If we uh, move to the inside here for a minute, let me show you guys around. So, this is a full interior car. I did already pull pretty much everything out of it. I pulled the back seats out. I pulled the front seats out just to be able to make sure there wasn't, wasn't anything too bad going on underneath the carpet. This carpet is shot. I think that um somebody let the water drip from the air conditioning in here and it kind of just like saturated the carpet and made it all really stiff and sticky so it's not really usable unless I want to pressure wash it and do all that which I'm not really worried about since I'm going to be getting another car here soon anyways um, I haven't cleaned anything majorly from from the uh, from the time that I got the car I mean I've it was horribly dirty I mean the guy didn't didn't care to clean any of his crap out of it so I just threw everything away but this is the remnants from everything that was left underneath the seat and underneath the console uh, yeah e-brake doesn't really work that well but it is hooked up so I guess it's just the brake pads um, the shifter doesn't go it doesn't allow the vehicle to go into gear for some reason I'm pretty sure it's just because of the axle um, on our other 05 Honda Civic that we have the car wouldn't allow the vehicle to move forward without another CV axle inside of it, which is pretty self-explanatory when you have an open differential. So I assume that's what's going on here. He told me that the reason why that he was selling the car is because he thought that the clutch was bad, but I'm pretty sure that it's just the axle. We're gonna when I pull the engine out of here, we're gonna go ahead and um when we pull the engine out of here, we're gonna go ahead and put it up in the shed, start tearing it down, get the head off of it, probably. After, I don't know if I'm going to do it to this one. I'm, I'm most likely going to be rebuilding the 150,000 mile engine and building that one up to put into this one eventually. Or I'm going to take this one out, rebuild it, slap it back in here, and then build out the 150 mile, 150k mile engine. I'm not really sure on what I want to do with everything yet, but I do know for a fact that I'm going to be running off of this engine for a little bit while longer because this thing still runs. It'll crank up on a dime still, and it runs amazing, so there's no need to get rid of an engine that doesn't need to be replaced yet. So we're going to go ahead and keep running off of this 290-mile engine for a temporary amount of time while I keep the 150k-mile uh, engine in the shed and build up on it for a little while. Once it's finished up, we're going to go ahead and slap it in this thing and then swap it on back out probably uh start building the 290k engine if i uh, need to um we gotta uh if anybody knows these preludes you know everything goes out i gotta replace the uh, gas and temp gauge which is going to be replaced when i buy the next car i've already taken everything out of here because i'm going to take this dash out since the dude did drill holes in the in the dash for these gauges here I'm going to go ahead and just take this whole dash out and put the one from the old car or the new parts car into this car so that I don't have these holes here. I'm going to go ahead and um, put the gauge cluster from the other car into this car. I'm going to go ahead and put the um, <clears throat> I'm gonna put the seats from the other car into this car because this one's torn up and a buddy of mine wants to buy the, the uh, old seats from this one for the for his Accord that he has. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take off these crappy rims here because, as you all know, I'm not trying to ride around in some 1990s style Fast and Furious rims. Or I'd rather go back to stock Honda rims than that, like everybody would. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and slap the stocks from the Prelude SI back on here whenever I get the, part, the parts car, which will be here in around three weeks. And then... um you know, it'll just be swapping parts, putting it back on here, and building the build from that point on. Nothing really special going on, nothing, nothing, um, nothing going on as of right now. It's just going to be basically a tear down and replace. So I'll periodically make videos, and I'll keep them on my phone. And if you guys are interested in seeing them, you want me to post them up on the internet, you know, you go ahead and. Uh, Leave a like and a comment on this video and tell me if you guys are interested in seeing it. If you are, you know, I guess I'll go ahead and start posting. But until then, they will be staying on my phone for my memory's sake. Y'all have a good day, man.
thank you all for sticking in with this video, and I hope you enjoyed this prelude episode. It's going to be a pretty long build. It's going to be a lot of money here, but we're going to get, what the hell? That's, that's working? What? That never worked before? Okay, well, <laughs> anyways, I just figured something else out. Now I gotta fix a light. Y'all have a good day. See y'all later.